first ling of the season. Oh my goodness. First freaking ling. What is up? Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. As you can tell, we are here at Montana de Oro. And we're just getting our things set up. We're gonna launch here in a bit. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It is Memorial Day, so thank you for all those who have paid the ultimate price. Um, today's fishing trip is definitely in honor of you. And let's have a good day fishing. I'll see you. All right, and we're back out here with Sergio. He's my uncle. Oh, it's Hi, Elsa. Right here, That's how we say hello. We got Elsa out here. And then we got Sergio, and we're doing a little competition today. What are you fishing, Serge? What are, what fishing are you fishing? Lighthouse lures all day. Lighthouse lures, and then I'll show you what I'm fishing when I get on the water. But yeah, so we didn't bring any bait, just plastics, and we're gonna see his lighthouse lures versus my, um, well, I'll show you in a little bit. Let's, uh, let's get on the water. All right, first drop. And uh, Sergio beat me to the water. He might be a little scared with that lighthouse lure. How deep are we? 180. 180, all right. Other than Elsa catching her nice red, there hasn't been much action besides a few stars. Yes, sir. I think that's uh, another starry, if I'm not mistaken. A little bigger, but eh. take it for now. All right, there it is. I mean, for uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I have pictures on my phone, but it might be a starry. It's probably one of the bigger stories I've caught. Let's go back down. All right, I'm gonna cheat. Put a little bit of this on there. I don't know what it is. He just coughed it up, so we're sending it down. Another fish, another fish. Doesn't feel crazy big, but. You on too? Uh oh. Well, Surge is on too. I guess we're, we're one for one. Oh, baby Ling. on these guys well they're down here this is my first uh, let me pull down. first ling of the season oh my goodness first freaking ling wow ah uh, me too my short first ling look at that Too short to keep, but first ling of the season. The skunk is off, boys. All right, well, first ling of the season. He's about 18, 19 inches, but go back down, buddy. Get bigger. I'll catch you another day. Fish on. Fish on. Doesn't feel big either. Ah. getting over some fish come on take a nice red right now I'll take a nice anything right now ah gopher fish on my big hammer broke off I knew that stinger hook would get me in trouble. But, uh, put another swim bait on. A little bit smaller. Red. So I'm curious to see. Just because we were catching starry, so I don't know, maybe the lean cod been preying on these. So if it sees a small one, 
the attack. That was right. There she is. Another wing. Clean release. I just caught a ling. Shorty though. All right. <laughs> uh, man, I wish I could have got a measure on him at least. He was out. I didn't want to gaff him though just because he looked short. He wasn't much bigger than the other one. But that's two lings same day, Montana de Oro. Producing. Let's get another one. Let's get a keeper. Okay, Sean. Let's see what it is. Better copper. Take it for sure. All day. There we go. It's not a bad one. Send him back down. Alright, well, we paddled in, or pedaled in. It was crazy out there. He lost his pedal drive, so he had to paddle all the way in about a mile and a half. Elsa still killed it though. She's, I think, five reds and a copper. Um, yeah, I didn't do so well. Just a copper, a gopher, and a starry. But, still got fish. Still gotta go out and go fishing. So, can't complain. Well, it's a beautiful day out. Unfortunately, we had to call it short. Technically, we tied. You won. You got gophers. I did get I did get one more gopher then, but we both got two short lings. We both got a starry. Mm -hmm. And then I got the gopher. Did we get anything else? No. That was, that it. was it. Yeah. Got well, a broken uh, paddle. Yeah, we got a broken paddle. And uh, right when he was coming in, that's why you surprised carry how he didn't. Two modes of transportation at all times. Uh, that's why you got freaking these right here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my fillet up some fish and uh, cook them up for you. Yeah. But uh, everybody made it in safe. He lost his paddle drive, but he made it in. So all is good. I'm not even gonna hold my stringer up to Elsa. But look at that. Look at that. Nice. 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 Alright, yeah, I got some good ones. Thank you. Appreciate it. She just has to show it off to that she beat all the boys out here today. Holds her own. Good job today, Elsa. Good job, good job. Look at this, guys. Look at this. You see that? Stringer. Still attached. I didn't lose it. Oops. Let me get that out of there. Oh, Elsa put the whooping on the boys today. She's a hell of a fisherman. Hell of a fisherman. But, it's pretty similar to his. What, stringer? Yeah. Well, for comparison. Oh. Oh, it's, uh, it's yeah, going to be mean, some, uh, he owes me $100 now, that's what he said, he agreed to that, and so, uh, no, I'm just kidding, but no, it was a good day out, thanks for, uh, good fishing with you, like Don't always. Don't worry about the next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I thought Montana de Oro was bad, oh my goodness, there is so many people here, I just passed Avila Beach, the beach is filled. The streets are filled. It's crazy. Um, what do you guys think about this social distancing and the whole pandemic? You know, is it too soon? Is it soon enough? Or is it, you know, 
should have been open longer. Should have never shut down. No, he oh, that's a couple arguing, arguing, arguing over there. In the road almost. Um, don't worry, my eyes are on the road. But yeah, it is. It's not even too crazy of a nice day today. But I mean, it's a nice day. It's also Memorial Day. Um, but I mean, actually, it's 70 degrees out here. It's pretty nice. Man, there is some people out here. Lots of people. Oh, look at this. Wait a second. Oh, no. Little well craft. A whole bunch of fishing boats coming in. Because who wouldn't want to be out fishing today? Anyways, we're going to see if we can find a spot. I'm pretty scared to go inside the harbor right now. Well, I'm in the harbor, but the parking lot. So fish station is still shut down so I'm going to take this table out real quick I don't know if these uh, other campers are going to make a fuss but I'm going to try and get these fish filleted real quick so let's get to it alright we finally got all the fish they drove by they didn't give me no hassle so it's cool you know at least I got to fillet my fish and I just tossed them out into the ocean but I didn't have to do no guts at home so I get it all buried in here like I was saying, Costco, 120 bucks. It's a 55 quart. It's got a ruler right here. Keep your ice up good for like, I think it said five days or something like that. Just latches down like that. Pretty nice cooler. But yeah, let's get on out of here. Let's go home. All right, moment of truth. How much, how much meat do we have? That's it. One and a quarter pound meat oh. oh now we're gonna get inside and we'll cook it but yeah only a pound and a 0.25 meat but uh oh well all right back at the house we just got everything cleaned up about to put everything away Unfortunately, today's video is just going to be a little bit shorter due to the circumstances. The wind was not supposed to pick up today, but it did, you know, and that's just Mother Nature at its finest. But still got out there, caught a few fish and had a good time nonetheless. So got to hang out with some uh, some of the bros and uh, Elsa killed it out there today. You definitely uh, showed us how it was done with uh, I think you had like five reds and a nice copper. Yeah, you, you nailed it. Hopefully we can fish again soon. But that's going to conclude today's video, and until next time, see you then.